Hey there YouTube, it's SJM4306 back with uh, another repair project um, and I'm doing a solder time video this time. I got this, if you guys recognize, it is a uh, 3DS motherboard and the only problem that it has is uh, this little silver uh, charge jack is uh, it wiggles there, it's, it's loose. So what I actually ended up doing was um, it looks like someone yoinked out the uh, charger connector so I had to bend the uh, metal shielding in place a little bit and I'll have instructions on how to tear it down um, I'll have a tear down video up soon um, but as for now if you look there are here we go there are about like uh... what is that six uh... solder pads on the bottom and the, only the very rightmost one is uh, holding it in right now. So I'm going to correct that by soldering up my, uh, uh, firing up my pencil tip uh, point soldering iron set here. And putting a little tiny bit of flux on the pads. And try to do it in frame. Just to get things flowing. This was a little bit crusty uh, when I got it and I had to disable there was um, parental lock on it and so I couldn't re factory reset it so I handled that quite easily just going on to the Nintendo website and my iron is about ready Let's see if I can get a slightly better view on this There we go. Can I zoom? Yes, I can. I love this new camera. Come on. There we go. And so, just pre tuning the tip. And I shall go around and get the far side tab soldered first add a little bit of solder to that there it's set And that looks to be about it. I added probably a little more solder than I need to, but because um, this is a me mechanical, uh, you know, retention device, um, there's going to be lots of strain on that, and there's only a slight bit of adhesive on the bottom to hold that guy in. So it should be fine. I uh, just want to go and go over that with some isopropyl alcohol. Clean up that um, solder pad, get that in focus a little bit more, and um, but yeah, as you can see, there we go. Um, I just uh, resoldered that in, and now it's uh, pretty firmly in there. Uh, I'm gonna have to go and uh, reassemble this sucker. I don't actually have a charger for it, so there's not much I can do to test it out right now. Shut off my soldering iron. And so, that's uh, going to be it for now. I'm going to reassemble it, get it uh, up and running again. And I'll um, do a, a, you know, a teardown video and uh, an assembly video uh, later on uh, after I get my internet up and running. I'm having trouble with my in-house internet. So I'm probably not going to get to upload this for a little while. But if you guys are interested, I would like to show you um, 
what I actually used to solder this, and that is my um, zoom out there. It's a uh, it's a Radio Shack iron, but it's one of those digital ones with uh, three settings. It's temperature controlled. It's a nice big hefty transformer in that guy, and a very nice. I, I love this size tip uh, pencil point iron, and a very convenient base. And so that's what I use to do all my repair jobs. So. Um, I'll be back uh, once I have this reassembled and I'll show you guys it working. So I'll see you in a few. And here we have it fully reassembled, the 3DS, and powering on at the moment. And there we go. Everything works, sound works, button clicks work, and so there you go. And so, um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to wait until I uh, get a charger to, to make sure that the, uh, the charging port works. But I don't have a doubt that it wouldn't. I mean, you can tell that it's been yanked out because the plastic's slightly deformed there and whatnot. But other than that, I'm because of the simplicity of the repair, not charging. Well, it is now. Um, I'm pretty sure that, that this will work. But I'll do a... a another short video and tack it onto this one uh, once I get a charger and show that it's fully working and all. But that's pretty much how to repair a 3DS um, on the cheap. If you can find one of these off eBay, that is the simplest problem to fix. So that's a good place to start. So um, I guess that's that's it for now until I, um, I uh, find myself a charger for cheap. So I'll see you guys then. Okay, I'm back, and as you can see, I just ran to my local Five Below to grab a uh, charger brick for five bucks. Can't beat it for a brick and mortar store. So you can see the charge in indicator light is on, and there we go. You could see right there that it is successfully charging. And it only took me like about five minutes of soldering in order to get this guy up and running, supposedly not charging, bought off of eBay for 50 bucks, and fixed to a fully functional 3DS. So I would call that a success. And it only took me, you know, 10 minutes and um, you know, a quick drive to, uh, you know, a retail store to buy a new charger. And I got myself a new 3DS. So if you liked... Uh, you know, the uh, repair that I did. Uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe below. And I'll be sure to do a, a teardown video, you know, in order so that you can access the, uh, the uh, internal motherboard in order to do this repair. I'll do that at a later day. I'm having trouble still with my internet. But, um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.